I'm going to talk about some other morphological image processing algorithms. These include boundary extraction, hit or miss transform, region filling, skeletonization, and um, I'm just as a side, these are all implemented using the single function BW morph in MATLAB. And finally, wrap up with the extension of the morphological image processing algorithms to grayscale images. So boundary extraction is um, the process of finding the boundary of a set uh, of a region um, can be described easily with these morphological algorithms. Um, namely, we take our set A, we erode it by a small structuring element, so it shrinks it a little bit, and then we take the set difference between those two. So it's expressed as A minus A eroded by B. The hit or miss transform is a way to find the location of a shape in an image. So we have a small binary image uh, template, call it B1. If we were to take the erosion of A by B1, remember that's the defined as shifting B1 all over the region A. Wherever it fits completely inside A, we mark uh, a 1 at that location. So I guess the, uh, those places indicate the presence of that template. However, if I have a large region A, um, then of course any shape will fit inside that. So we need a way to distinguish between you know, just very large regions just fitting by accident and the exact shape that we're looking for. So the way we do that is we define a boundary around the shape to be empty. Call that B2. So we want both the shape to fit in A and the boundary to be empty um, at that location. So we can describe that as uh, the complement of A, all zeros, eroded by B2. That's all the places where B2 fits in the empty places of A. So we want both of those locations. We want the places where B1 fits in A and the location where B2 fits in the complement of A. So here's an example. Uh, here's an image um, at set A consisting of these three distinct places. And let's say we want to look for shape X um, in this image here. So we first um, find the erosion of A by X. So that's actually shown here. So the locations where X fits entirely within A is this single point here and then a whole bunch of places here because that region is pretty large. Next we look at trying to make the boundary empty. So we expand X by a small amount. Um, that's this area called here. And we want to find um, places where that fits entirely within the complement of A, which is shown here. So that is denoted by all the gray locations in this image. So this is A complement uh, eroded by the boundary of our region. So the only places where the boundary fits uh, entirely within the complement are, well, all the outside places here. The single point here, because it completely surrounds um, the shape that we're looking for, and then actually a number of locations here around this smaller shape. So we take the intersection of these two, this image here and this image here, and that just gives us the single point here. So similar to cross-correlation, uh, this transformation finds the location of shapes in images, but it needs an exact match. So cross-correlation, remember, gives you a value as to how well the shape matches. But here it's a binary value. It's either matches perfectly or it doesn't match. Another algorithm is uh, region filling. So let's say you have the boundary of a set, but you want to fill that, um, the points inside that. So we, uh, the way it's done is we start with a point inside the region, let's say here. We repeatedly dilate that point, but at every step, we don't want to, that dilated portion to cross the boundary. So we intersect um, the complement, which is 
which is this part here, it's, it's the zeros where the, I have the boundary. We intersect the dilated portion with that set of zeros, and that ensures that the dilation does not cross the boundary. Skeletonization is very useful for extracting properties of regions. Um, it's a concise representation of a shape. So uh, basically we want the skeleton or I guess uh, just a few line segments that describe the shape like this. So it's defined as the set of all points that are equally distant from the two closest points of the object boundary. So you can think of that as the union of all disk centers that are contained in the object. Um, or another way to think of it is um, start a fire at the boundary, let it burn inward, and the points where the fire is quenched is the skeleton. For example, representing the shapes of letters, um, we show a binary image of letters here. This is the skeleton of that. Um, including this, um, and here's another skeleton for this rectangular shape here. One disadvantage of this uh, this representation is it's sensitive to small perturbations at the boundary. So here I've nicked the rectangle by a small amount and that causes this, um, this, this additional segment right here. <coughs> 